Several of you have reminded me recently in emails that not all of yours are like professional locksmiths or maybe pickers of high security locks. But, you know, you do work in industrial or commercial type environment, maybe educational complexes. Some of you guys are in maintenance, some are in security, some are landlords of large apartment buildings. So what you do involves a wide variety of different skills, only a small part of which involves locks or security doors or emergency doors. In that spirit, uh, Multipick has put together this kit. It's called the Caretaker Kit 2 Pro, $275. And theoretically, it has a lot of very easy to use, you know, with minimal training, bypass type things, you know, some spatulas and stuff. Things that are going to help you get through that door very quickly without an awful lot of skill. There's also some training videos in here. We'll get down to that, down to the bottom there. We'll dig down to it. So... Everything's still wrapped up. Let's pull it out and take a look at what we get for our money. Recognizing that not everybody buying this kit is going to be familiar with all the tools that are inside of it, Multipick has put this guy together. Professional opening techniques for doors. Um, you don't have to speak German, though. A very concise video clip showing you how to use each of these uh, tools. It's all hands-on demonstration, so if you don't speak German, just turn the sound completely off and you won't miss out on a thing. Are some of the tools that will solve most of your problems, some of the most commonly grabbed tools would be these guys. You know, someone's locked themselves out, they've left the door closed behind them, perhaps the doorknob got loose and fell off and they can't get it back on because it fell off on the inside, any number of reasons. But these are your shims. Um, doors come in different sizes, they have different thicknesses, and you get the same thing in your shims. You know, so we have different depths, we've got different curvatures, so you've got three choices here. Basically, you work it around the door jam, you slide it down, you push the latch, and the door comes open very, very quickly. I did a video on these, and I'll put it down there in the link if you really want to watch the extended version, but that's the short version. If these can't go in, perhaps the thickness, maybe the angle is different, it's a weird door, you got these to deal with. And this is just basically like a solid film with a nice little handle. It's like a credit card on steroids. Again, very flexible. You can slide it in between the door and the door jam, and you can bypass a lot of locks with this guy. This is the thick one. This is half a millimeter. You get three half millimeter, and there's one that's even thinner than this for those really, really tight doors. Everything comes packaged in there. Let's see what else we got. All right, another one of the bypass tools that you'll find is this guy. It is really for those panic doors, those egress doors that maybe a student has kicked the handle off and damaged it on the inside. You've got to attack it from the outside. Again, it slides in again from the top, and if you've got the door on the other side, simply slip it over and attack it from the bottom. On those many times when you're trying to latch it, you, there's nothing to grab onto. There's no handle on the outside. So they've included this heavy-duty suction cup. Just stick this to the door on the outside, shim it, and then use this to pull it open. So they've, these guys have thought of everything. All right, by far, one of the most useful tools would be this guy. This is the bell core puller. So if you don't mind destroying a lock, you got to get through a click. You're going to be replacing it anyway because somebody lost the keys. This is the ideal tool. I've done a demo on these on several different locks. Check it out. I put it down in the description. But basically how this works is, let's say you have a Euro style lock. All you're going to do is you're going to drive a screw into it and you've got everything you need here. Based on the size of the keyway, you choose one of these three different size of Viper screws that'll fit in there, and you don't have to tap it. These are self-tapping, so don't bother drilling it. And just use the T20 torque wrench that they give you, drive it all the way in, and just basically leave it hanging out. I just drive it until all the threads are in, and when it's just the bare shaft, that's it's enough. At that point, you have to put a protective plate so you don't do any damage to the door. You don't mind destroying the lock. In this case, we have this guy, which is machined for Euro locks. And that, when we line that up in the back, it keeps that core perfectly centered in there, just like that. If you have a normal or a lock, like a Schlage or Quickset or any other lock, you can use this generic plate. Just keep the uh, core centered in there and you'll be fine. Anyway, we put that on there like that, center it, and then I'm going to try to do this from the side. You take the core puller itself, and you notice there's a slot in there. So we just basically slide it in, put the head of the screw in that slot, slide it down, and then start tightening this guy up right here. And I think you can see what will happen, and we have a wrench for it here. 
as we tighten this up, it'll slowly but surely pull that core cleanly out of that lock. One of two things will happen. The core will pop out, in which case you can reach in with a screwdriver and you can turn the actuator, or sometimes the, the, in the weaker locks, they'll break right here and the entire half of the lock pops right out and then that leaves the keyway wide open for one of your tools. Again, you can use a screwdriver, but there are specialized tools, and here we have a multifunction key. Uh, this is what the normal actuator will look like. So if the entire sh half of the lock pops out, you can slide that in there, and you can rotate the actuator like that. If it doesn't, if only the core comes out, you may have to use one of the other tools. So we can use this guy, the tip of it, but there's other tools involved. Some of the actuators are quite unique. Some of them have odd shapes like that. Some of them... We have these little wings like this guy. Some of them have little cuts like this guy. But whichever you face, you, know, you can use this multifunction key. You just slide that right in there, slide it in, slide it over the actuator, open the door up. Very, very cool. In addition, there's measurements on here. You can measure the length of the lock so you know what size to replace it with. All right, also in the box, you're going to find a bunch of little wire tools and some other things. Uh, let's take a look at these guys first. Uh, these first four tools here, you'll notice that they are different lengths, and they have also have different amounts of offsets. So when you take a look at these, these are called the door latch needle pick set. It's designed uh, to basically defeat internal latches. So when people go inside of their door, they might not lock the bottom part of the door, but they flip a little latch, a physical latch over. So if you could slide this, again, around the door jam, which explains that offset right there. So through the door jam around, and then you can lever that up, you could potentially lift that latch off of the catch and defeat the lock. So very cool little tools, four different sizes. If these don't fit for some reason, they also include a whole bunch of different spring steel wires in here to bend your own. If for some reason you come up against a door frame of an unusual size, you can still defeat it. These next two are Dietrich lever lock picks. Now, you guys have seen me pick lever locks before. A lot of the external locks, like on doors, are five plus levers, and a lot of them have fault skates and stuff like that. These are not the tools for that. These are tools for the simple interior uh, lever locks, like you'd find on a, you know, in a bedroom, a low, very low security environment. That's what these would be for. You notice they are opposing each other. They're, they turn different ways. And because you never know which side of the lock you're going to be going in from, so you have a couple of options. Um, two lever locks are for actually pretty easy. So you'd slide it in and you just basically use that tool to lift the lever and you'd very, be very quickly inside of the lock. So one for, the, one for each side of the door there. A little known, I don't want to call it a secret, but these are basically turners, actuator turners. Now, if someone goes into their house and has a lever lock and then from the inside of the house they stick the key in and they lock the door and they leave the key in the door, you know, there's, the key is still lined up with all the levers. All you need to do is turn that entire lock because the key is perfectly lined up. That's what these tools are for. If you recall, lever locks tension on both sides. So if you look through the keyhole, you see a key in it. You can generally slide this guy in. Don't shove him in and don't disturb the key that's in there. You're basically trying to get access to the closest lever and um, or the closest tensioner. And then you can turn the entire lock even though the key is on the other side. Works perfectly. You got two different depths and two different types of tips here. This last one is a tool that I've never personally used. They call this the uh, barrier post emergency key. Now for security barriers, um, I've been in Europe for a big part of my life and they have a triangular shaped nut on the outside. A lot of times you can put that on there and you can loosen the nut and move the post. Other times it has an internal key mechanism. There's a slot. Again, that, that, that's the generic key for the post. You can slide it in, turn it, and basically unscrew it a little bit and move the post. These two parts here, I've never seen used, so I can't even begin to guess. Perhaps, yeah, I'm not even going to guess, guys. If any of you guys have seen this part of it used before, I'd appreciate it. Put it in the comments. Let me know. I'm sure it's some kind of barrier. Anyway, I may not be familiar with that, but uh, let's look at a couple of the kits that we are familiar with. All right, finally something we're starting to recognize. All right, one of the most common things you'll run into in a commercial environment is a broken off key or maybe something broken off in the keyway. It's always nice to have a specialized tool to, you know, grab a hold of it. Nice little sharp barbs on that. So slide this down the keyway, 
dig those barbs into whatever stuck in the keyway and drag it out, clear that keyway so that the owner can then use their key or use a replacement key to get into it. So specialized tools for clearing uh, keyways. Another thing that's always nice to have is a basic kit of lock picks. Now remember this kit's not designed for lock picking pros or lock smiths. It's designed for a generalist and they've included some very basic lock picks here. You notice we have two tensioners, one thick one and one that's been kind of machined down for a thinner tensioner there for narrower keyways and then four very basic picks. We got a half diamond, we got a short hook, we got a ball for wafer locks and then we got a rake for pretty much every other kind of lock. So very basic lock pick kit to get you in. You're not going to be picking, you know, super high security locks, but for the basics, this is more than enough. If you fall in the category of not knowing how to use these, it's not a problem because multi-picks put this together. Lock picking like the pros. A couple of DVDs in here, basically showing, giving hands-on demonstration of, on how to use the extractors and how to use each of those picks and when you would use which pick for what type scenario. So anyway, lock picking like the pros. Well, there you go, the Caretaker Kit 2 Pro. Basically a box full of lock picks and bypassing options. $275 from Multipick. I'm also giving this away this week. So if you'd like to know how to register for the free giveaway, stick around, I'll tell you how. Thanks, guys. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway, purple band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys.